what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i'm sitting here recording this i've got wwf raw 1996 going on savio vega taking on goldust and for some of you younger folks yeah goldust was around in 1996 but we're not talking about wrestling as you can see today we are playing some madden 2017 so last year and in previous years i created a left end and uh because you know I'm from Houston, and we got J.J. Watt. He's the best defensive player ever. I don't know. I mean, he he's the best defensive lineman in the league at the moment, even though he didn't play last year because of his back. But we decide to bring it back up again. This year, we're playing with Jackson Montgomery. That's right. We're bringing players over from WWE. We're playing with him right here in Madden 2017. So we create another left end. We create with number 77, 275 for our, this left end. He's a, he's a little leaner, a little, little, little smaller than normal, but, you know, we pump up his his build, if you will, give him a little tan, not, not too tan, you know, Jackson Montgomery being from the south and everything. So we go through this whole draft process. We get drafted by the, the excuse me, I almost said the Saints, I don't know why, the Raiders. Now, I did a fantasy draft where every player is put into the pool and all the teams draft again. So nobody, well, for the most part, I think um, I think Colin Kaepernick still ended up with uh, the 49ers. But as you can see here, we have Ryan Tannehill as our quarterback here on the Raiders. Melvin Gordon, our starting running back, followed by Jaquiz Rogers and Fred Jackson, kind of the old-timer uh, there in the backfield we got Larry Fitzgerald Michael Crabtree on the on the Raiders um, he didn't get to go to a different team but as you can see that is our receiving core Larry Fitzgerald of course leading the pack there and Travis Kelsey our awesome awesome um, tight end there we go Jackson Montgomery starting for the Oakland Raiders as we take a look at the right ends and moving into our middle or our left outside linebacker we have Jerry Hughes Middle linebacker, Jake Ryan. Now, we didn't get a lot of great guys. You know, we got Travis Kelsey, and we got Larry Fitzpatrick. We got Patrick Peterson in the backfield. Of course, Jackson Montgomery on the line. Um, but we didn't get a pretty, a very stacked um, roster. We didn't, we didn't do so well in the draft. Sebastian Janikowski, again, didn't get a chance to go on to a different team. But Travis Kelsey, followed by Larry Fitzgerald, are our best players uh, that we have here so we're going to start this season off oakland raiders and the last time we did this was with might as well he ended up on the seattle seahawks but that was last year here we go overall 76 power moves at 82 uh, we went as a like i said middle of the pack uh, draft area so we're going to play this first game of the preseason against the Arizona Cardinals. Here we are, first and 10, four minutes in. Oakland's already up seven to zero. Look at this, wide open, and he just can't get to the quarterback. I forget, oh, Marcus Mariota, there we go. He completes that pass for 11 yards. First and 10 again. I think that's the very next play. Jackson Montgomery gets a penalty for neutral zone infraction. He's a rookie. He's a starting rookie at that. He's got a lot to learn and a lot to try to gather and, uh, and hold uh, that position or it's gonna be given away. Next, we look at this. Might as well, uh, <laughs> I'm stuck on might as well. Jackson Montgomery crosses the entire field. Um, Crowell only gets one yard right there. Two and a half minutes to go in the first. It is first and 10. Mariotto counting down the clock. Jackson, look at this. Can't get, I mean, he just can't get around. But his teammate Ward gets back there, gets a sack on Mariota, pushes him way back. They are on the 48 now. Just over a minute left. Jackson can't get to the quarterback in time. But that play is incomplete. But Jackson's in that backfield. Mariota at the current moment, two and three. Two for three, I should say. And that ends Jackson's day. So Jackson doesn't get to play that much, being a starter. Um, he is pulled out about the middle of the second quarter. 
But as we take a look here, we have a 804 total XP. We, we're going to start saving up these points, folks. We're saving up, as you can see uh, the stats here, we're saving up for that spin, swim, and bull rush. Those are uh, about almost 4,000 a piece, but those are, the, those are the moves we want so we can get past those, uh, those in front of us and get to that quarterback a little, a little easier. Next game up, we take on the Green Bay Packers. Now remember, nobody is on their same team. Jack Del Rio telling Jackson to get in there, take care of business, water boy style. Green Bay has Derek Carr as their quarterback, and look at this, Jackson Montgomery triple teamed, can't get to the quarterback in any way. Derek Carr uh, throws an incomplete pass, and Jackson is pretty pumped about that. This brings us to just a two and a half minutes in, in left in the first quarter, and that was a chip shot, and Forbath missed. And that is it. That's it for that game. Jackson uh, didn't do a whole lot in that game. Oakland ends up winning 17 to 10. Uh, Jackson, you know, I'm not, I don't show you guys every play for him because it's really, you know, a lot of it's just nothing. So, um, as we move on and as we continue this series and play through these games, we're going to get that XP. We're going to buy the upgrades we want to buy. Maybe up the speed a little bit on, um, um, on Jackson. So we're, we're almost, we're, we're getting close. We're about halfway there. Pretty close to halfway on getting those uh, getting those things that we want. We jump right into the third game of the season against Tennessee, and look at that. Jackson runs all the way across the field, pulls Howard down. He's had three rushes for one yard. You just can't run against this Oakland defense right now. Just under four minutes here. Jackson trying to get to the quarterback, and he doesn't. Look at this. Jackson trying to stay in the race, but he's just not fast enough. Matt Stafford throws that one. That was his second. That was 72 yards total. They get down to the three, and look at this. Jackson had an opportunity there to stuff him a little further back, but it's still, he could still got stuffed. Five rushes for negative one yards there. Just over two minutes now, still 0-0. Third and goal. Jackson can't get past his defender. They score a touchdown. Matt Stafford with a touchdown right there. And that puts Tennessee up 7-0. But the final for this game after a long and hard fought battle, Oakland ends up getting the victory. Oh, oh no, they don't. I mis I'm mistaken. Tennessee stuck it out 28-26. I'm I apologize. I thought we went uh we went 4-0, but apparently not. 2400. We are about 1,500 points away from uh, getting those uh, upgrades that we want. Now into the final preseason game against Seattle. Look at this. Jackson can't get past his defenders, but it doesn't matter because Jake Ryan comes from the middle of the of the pack there and gets a sack. Second and nine. Almost The game is almost coming. Oh, what am I saying? The first quarter is coming to a close almost. Teddy Bridgewater is the quarterback for Seattle. Jamal Charles is that running back. And look at that across the middle. Steve Smith Sr. Look at that. I mean, just, he is just doing what he can. Three for five. Teddy Bridgewater, 43 yards. And that one right there was 31 yards, I believe. Um, Jackson able to get back just in time. And he's going to get in on that tackle on Jamal Charles, three rushes for four yards. Not the greatest uh, game there for these running backs, but that just means that Oakland D is staying strong. 30 to 13, we finish out the preseason three and one. 3,400 XP, and like I said, we're saving up for that spin and that uh, uh, bull rush and swim move so we can get into the backfield a lot quicker. Um, we're almost there. We are almost there, and we finish up, like I said, three and one. For the season, and looking at these moves, our power moves are pretty high up there. Finesse, uh, we need to up our finesse just a little bit, but we will see how that goes. But that's going to end this episode. We advance into the first week of the preseason, uh, I'm sorry, into the regular season, where we take on New Orleans.